we're going to go back to the episode of last. It's a hell of a survival today. We return to boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, today, boom, we are going to be taking a look at a couple of these images that actually have been circulating around the last day on Earth community. I want to go ahead and clear a little something up around them. These are not confirmed to be coming into the game, but these are actually very cool things that I want to go ahead and showcase for y'all and actually get your guys' thoughts on because I think this is absolutely amazing and hopefully similar to last episode where hopefully if we can like demonstrate to feel like, hey, there's hella community support behind some of these ideas. We could go ahead and uh, maybe have things like this implemented. And I think what we're going to be going over today is some very, very noteworthy stuff. So what you guys are seeing right here and right now is actually going to be kind of similar to a uh, having a skill. That is right, a skill system for locations such as the police station. We're actually going to be moving on to a farm one, which is pretty cool. But just go ahead and start going over this suggested idea and why I absolutely love it. So, skills for the police department. As you guys know, there's the police department, which is one of the new locations similar to the farm. That has a respawn timer and is not a location like uh, some of the random zones out there that are constantly randomly generated. And you might be like, oh, but that's unprecedented for locations like this to have skills but actually no because bunker alpha you actually do acquire skills from meaning it's totally possible and similar things have happened in the past so hopefully we can go ahead and bring this to Kafir's attention they can maybe incorporate some stuff like this because there's actually some very cool things that I want to go ahead and get to diving over so some of these suggested skills are actually very much so I think within the vein of uh per per being pretty reasonable over here at the police department you guys can see that there are five suggested skills and i think it plays out pretty well because as you guys the way that skills tend to work is like they kind of usually have to do with the location they're associated with but also can at times have a higher arcing and like more usefulness not just at that location but throughout everywhere so here is what is being suggested one of the skills would be the master of keys which would actually give you a better chance at finding keys to go ahead and break into the jail cells that are available throughout the police station I think that's pretty fair. That's a pretty nice common trait or common, uh, not characteristic, uh, common skill. I don't know why that word could not come to my mouth. That, that seems like a pretty fair common skill to have. Just a little bit of a better chance of finding keys to get some of the loot that is within the jail cells. Increase weapon damage by 20%. The Dirty Harry. Now, when it comes to this, I think that they could definitely incorporate something very cool with the police station and maybe have a damage increase for the Magnum and maybe the Winchester because those, those are both kind of tech technically police weapons i don't know when i think police officers i think like old school sheriff has his revolver ready to go and obviously the winchester being a pretty police station i don't want to say police station specific but definitely you have a chance at a very good chance actually getting winchesters from the police station that is the update that did bring them in so maybe having a skill present like that that maybe maybe like two different skills and that way there could be six total skills which is usually the amount that each different zone has so that could end up nicely but i do think i had some skills to slightly increase the weapon damage of things like the s uh the magnum and the winchester would be fair because it's not like those are ridiculously powerful weapons or anything like that already so i think that would make a good amount of sense the sheriff the 20 percent chance of getting higher insignia if you guys don't know about the insignia i think what this is trying to say is like getting a higher police card so like let's say like you have a 20 percent chance and instead of getting a common card you get like a green card right or maybe when you get a blue card there's a 20 percent chance that you get a purple card for example so i think that'd also be a pretty fair and pretty cool skill to have in court but here is where they get pretty cool the last bullet a skill that you would only have to get once it is one of those extremely rare skills saying the last bullet of a gun gives double the damage that is very awesome and personally it's not even that op either but it would be a nice nifty little thing to have that like as your gun's about to break the last bullet just does like double damage i think that's actually very fair and also not at all op but it could be nifty and definitely it'd be a skill i'd be going for or dude like a little bit of shotgun rain could you imagine that last shot Woo! Nelly, that would be a lot of damage going down and finally the final suggested skill being the shiv where you know how to use the shiv and you can kill some zombies in one shot a five out of five so this would be an extremely rare skill or something like that because it's out here like it has an orange background i assume that'd be like legendary or something this would actually act as an active skill and the way that it would work is that the only way to find a new shiv in the game is in the cells of prisoners rummaging under a bed you have a 50 percent chance to find automatically a shiv the shiv 
is not an object and cannot be in your inventory. The limit of shivs in your area is five. After each use, a certain temp is needed to use another one. So I think that's like the cooldown that they're talking about. So it'd kind of be cool to be able to like gather up shivs maybe to a max of five. And then you could use them to uh, instantly kill some zombies, maybe to a limit. So like you obviously can't kill like the big one instantly or something. But it would be cool to be able to use this. And maybe if you're ever like in a tough situation, you're able to real quickly shiv a zombie, take them down. Then there's a cooldown going up to the next one. It'd be kind of cool to see such a unique and special active skill incorporated because we don't really have any active skills that do damage. Most of our active skills are kind of a little bit more on the chill side. So having one thing like this incorporated would be very cool and personally something that I'd love to see. It seems totally reasonable. And uh, yeah, I don't know. But that's going to wrap it up for the police station suggestion. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the farm suggestion and the beauty that that brings. This would be something in a similar vein, except specifically for the farm. So the carrot skill where carrots give more health. I think that's pretty fair because I mean, honestly, once you get like jerky, once you get better meats, you're not even using carrots for really anything. I can't even remember the last time I used a carrot. But if you're telling me that all of a sudden carrots give 60% more health, that might make them a little bit formidable. And I, I think it, it bring them a little bit more use. I think that's a fair skill that's desirable. And that would hopefully give more usage to other areas, you know, where like it encourages you to use carrots. And I think skills like that are awesome, like beneficial skills that encourage you to do stuff that you haven't done before. I feel like that just kind of like encompasses everything and encourages the player to kind of give a bit more variety to their gameplay, which is always a good thing if you want to go ahead and keep on keeping it fresh muscular arm you move 20 percent faster while wearing a safe i don't know what that's about while wearing a safe but maybe just you move 20 percent faster while carrying anything like anything heavy like if you have to pick up like uh, the crate for example maybe you move 20 percent faster like when you're and this would be useful back at home because like then when you're picking up uh, infected boxes right maybe when you're picking up engines when you're picking up electric generators all of which you'd be able to move a little bit faster it'd be pretty specific but still it would have its use the grim reaper which would ultimately and these are all like all these skills that we're talking about are at their theoretical highest level level at the best that they could do so at 10 out of 10 levels at 10 out of 10 perks the grim reaper perk would give 40 percent extra speed to the uh reaper the scythe that's what it's called it would give 20 40 percent extra speed to the scythe and i think that'd be pretty cool because currently the scythe is you can't even mod it or anything like it's a cool weapon and all but it's pretty limited so being able to by going to the farm the only place to get a scythe actually slowly increase the power of your scythe and how quickly you can use it i think that'd be a cool way to encourage more scythe use encourage people to go to the farm that's another thing about these skills man they just encourage you to go to locations so i feel like if kafir can ultimately incorporate some of these systems it doesn't have to be these particular skills although some of these skills are very cool ideas and nonetheless want to go ahead and toss them up uh they could always incorporate their own as well but i do think there are some great ideas scattered about through there the barn door skill where the door of the barn has a 20 percent chance of opening more so it would have like a higher chance of opening i think that's pretty dope because there's good stuff to be had within there so the more you do the farm the better chance you have of getting that and finally the code detector the zombies who own some of the code from the safe will be marked on your map and this ties into the bottom half where you guys are seeing the safe of the farmer in the abandoned house you found a safe to open it it will require a code of three digits the code has unfortunately been torn into three pieces search zombies and chests throughout the farm to find the three papers to try and open the chest with only two numbers but be careful there are only three possible tries the code changes with each reboot so kind of interesting that you can try to open it with less numbers or maybe you can find all three whatever it is it would be very cool to see this and have like another little kind of loot you can go for at the end of the farm while kind of encouraging this different gameplay mechanic of kind of like having this code scattered throughout and i think it'd just be really cool and especially that ties in very well to the very good perk that you'd be able to get which would be the code detector which would then give you uh whatchamacall uh it let point you towards the direction of where the uh thingamabobs could be found the different numbers so all in all very dope things being suggested here in kafir please i think i speak for everyone go ahead and make yo guys's voices heard though in that comment section down below but like i was saying i think i speak for everyone when we say we would love to see things like this incorporated into the farm into the police station and ultimately into future locations as well because the skill system is such a cool system and to leave upcoming and new locations out of it i 
I do think is a little bit short-sighted. Maybe they're working on it, but whatever it is, Kafir, this is something very dope that I highly encourage y'all, and I think all of us would love to see. So, por favor, uh, hopefully we see something like this uh, come into the game at some point, because then you know we'd be going to the police station and farm even more, because that's the thing, man. It's another reason to go to these locations, to earn skills and I, I don't know, man. I love earning me some skills, and I'm sure that you guys do as well. But with that said, with that done, let's go ahead and get us a couple of necessities we need for today's video. And of course, that's going to be starting off over here with the bunker code. And we're going to be calling the Raiders back in. Yo, huge thing happened today. 90073 is going to be the code for today at the time of me tossing this up. A huge thing happened today. And that is a massive raid where I don't know how, but the, th these Raiders, man, I'm pretty sure our base was fully protected when we left off yesterday. They broke so much. Like, don't get... I'm not saying that these level one walls should protect us from everything, but this is the most level one walls I have ever seen broken. Not to mention they broke into our stone and all of those and got into those three chests. These raiders were on a mission. And unfortunately for you guys, raiders, I am on a mission to avenge myself. I got three C4 at my disposal. So we definitely gonna be having some good jazz coming out of that. In the meantime, let's go ahead and give the raiders their stuff from the last raid. Call up a new one so we can go ahead and work on that. And we are going to be working towards as well today towards that little thing known as the survival guy because we are only three levels away from maxing this bad boy out and there are definitely some pretty attainable tasks we should be able to knock out we're also going to try to craft a generator hopefully we just have to craft the generator we put down not finalize it because if we have to finalize it that's a waste of five engine parts and i'm not sure i want to use five engine parts just for 40 points towards the thing so that's the game plan for the rest of today but uh, i'd love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below regarding everything we just went over your guys' thoughts on having skills added to the police station and to the farm not to mention what you guys maybe think of the specific skills and new features that were being suggested in there i really just thought those were super well done and definitely wanted to highlight it i think it's not like it's not like it's op where it's like oh you you'll go to this location and you have 50 million guns all of a sudden like i do think it's pretty fair and hello this is a good thing because we're gonna go kill the blinder at some point but i don't know i think it's pretty fair and it's it, it's I, I hopefully we see something like that because sometimes suggestions are a little bit out like out of the world where they're just a little bit uh they're not as balanced you know but i don't know i do think that this is very much so it has that perfect balance between fun good like loot that we could get from it and not being too op so i think it's pretty dope uh but go and let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below regarding it will that be you guys' thoughts on my thoughts you guys' own original thoughts any that type of jazz in that comment section down below and reminder that comments and put your one third of the way into the wicked dollar at two such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that way sure you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for a week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information that you know we are going to be staying absolutely as on top of as humanly possible not to mention the updates there are many updates coming very soon honestly dude we should be getting the motel update within hopefully a very quick time frame because it is getting to the point where we still need the halloween slash dia de los muertos update in this month so there's a ton of things to be expecting that i cannot wait to get my grobil fingers on and you know we're gonna be doing absolutely everything and anything in those updates showing them off hopefully making sure that you guys are prepared for what they contain yourselves not to mention us doing the craziest things that we can and having ourselves an absolutely wild and fun time because uh that's the way it was meant to be you know so make sure you're staying tuned for that not to mention that notification bell is a great way of staying up to date with every single video y'all can go ahead and enter in on for that weekly giveaway and of course on top of it all it's a great way of staying up to date with all the dope travel games we are checking out on the channel which spoiler alert does happen to be a pretty fair amount and what else do we got to do here also i don't know what this quest is it's just a zero out of two man 
plus 10. I don't know what that quest wants me to do, but we've crafted up the generator, which is nice. And from here on out, we just got to go on a little murder spree. I believe that is uh, the move to do. So I just got a couple minor things I got to go ahead and put away. And we got ourselves a couple of major things we got to go and take down. And I guess I'll just put that thing in there. I just want to get me some blood. So we got to go and uh, head over to some of these locations that our quest stuff will be present at before we do head over to play a 6604 to get that very sweet vengeance that's on the menu. Okie dokie, though. We want to go to the pine wood, limestone spires, mountain locations, toxic abomination. All right, why don't we go ahead and begin with the pine woods? That should be over here, so it's going to be a little bit difficult, but it shouldn't be too bad, and we're going to be looking for the special zombie that this area contains. We got a katana, and oh, we got a dope boost today, by the way. Finally, the healer. It, this is like a once in a blue moon type of thing, man. Whenever we get this, I'm always so hype. The effect that boosts our damage by 10% from guns. Bless up. I know that that's nothing major, but it is like an extra damage for the M16 for the shot. Shotgun. Oh, Nelly. We're going to be bringing out some shotgun rain for the raid. And the shotgun rain is going to be very, very good. Let that just be said. But we have arrived here. And we're going to go and try to find ourselves a uh, colonel buddy. Hello, Spitter. Goodbye, Spitter. Luckily, our smell will help us because it will bring them to us. Who needs to look for those to kill when those to kill are looking for you? And luckily, my very iconic musk brings them from far and wide because who doesn't want a chance at taking down Papa Star? Although very few, if any of these guys ever succeed, so who's really benefiting it's us it definitely is like i get that the smell can kind of be a negative thing it definitely can right but a me and the smell are iconic dude we're an iconic duo how could we ever be separated but b you gotta admit it is kind of nifty for when you want to kill zombies and you want zombies to come to you because then hello he's rising all those dudes from the dead so that's something we got to worry about but ain't but a thing the colonel should still be falling plenty easy we got plenty of fast buy thirst to take down we got a random fox running by and oh goodbye to you colonel i was actually gonna try to switch over to katana for just a gif i wish they dropped better so that's another thing that these like mini bosses got to drop man like they got to drop like can they drop something like half decent like hello disease wolf goodbye hello okay i'm slicing you up i guess our gun broke if you go ahead and swap over to the pistola now and that is a quest done i was gonna see if we can't uh can i just loot up this chest right here yeah there we go i don't know why the game prioritizes trees over chests man but hey you do you hello I like what we are doing right now with that little katana action, but with that should wrap up what we need here. Now let's head over to the limestone spires and knock out the rest of these quests that we do got. But yeah, seriously looking forward to your guys' thoughts on that jazz today because I do think some of those are very awesome suggestions. And I think that's something that isn't really brought up enough. The fact that like these two are missing skill things and i don't know it, it kind of makes sense because they're they are their own locations locations like the bunker have skill things locations like the random zones have skill things even freaking raids have skills like i don't know i feel like it makes a ton of sense for them to add that up so hopefully maybe in one of the upcoming location updates they'll uh do that and maybe is this that's the limestone ridge hold on which one are we looking for again the spires for sure uh, okay, we just want to go to the spires, so we'll go to there, but maybe they'll add it in, like, one of the upcoming location updates, and what they could do is, uh, kind of have, like, an over-encompassing overhaul where, like, every location has some skills added to it. I think that might make sense then. Maybe, like, once they have all the locations in, that could definitely be... I think that'd be a pretty fair, dedicated update. It's a kit out every location like that, which, I mean, by the time they're done adding locations, we're going to have, at least in the near future, we're going to have the motel, the police station, the farm, and the gas station? I don't know if they add skills to those four things. That'd be a pretty fair update. And maybe they add a couple of other things along in there too. But yeah, I don't know, man. I really love the idea that we were showcasing today. I did see it on the uh, Discord for last day on Earth. And uh, hopefully we will, uh, hopefully those things will come to fruition, man. Like I'm saying, let's make our voices heard. Let's show Kafir that this is something we want because we are a community. And Kafir is actually, in case you guys haven't noticed, I remember back in the day, it was always a meme that Kafir would not listen to us at all and did the exact opposite of the community. But come on, man, as of late, you got to cut Kafir some credit. They've been doing a great job listening to the community, adding in certain overhauls and just kind of, I don't know, man. Lately, you got to admit, 
they've been on point. So hopefully we can make our voices heard. Get out of your toxic spitter. Hopefully we can make our voices heard and I'm trying my best to do that. So let's make them voices heard, man. Drop those likes on this video. Drop those comments giving yo guys' thoughts and potential, uh, maybe your own skill ideas, you know, maybe instead of the skills that were suggested over in uh, the graphics that we showed, maybe you guys have something more specific or something different in mind. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just saying. There's a whole ton of potential. And I'm looking forward to every single incy beansy bit of it. And we still got plenty of toxic spit. Oh, dang it. He had one health left. I thought we might be able to take him down before he took us down. We didn't really take us down, but he did some damage. But so what we're trying to do over here in these zones, kill zombies, open chests, kill abominations. I think we should be able to do plenty of that. We'll probably just go back and forth between a couple of these red zones, but there should be a good amount of abominations running after us. And on top of that, we are going to have five abominations attack us during today's raid. So as long as we take out five toxic abominations by the time we go ahead and call it, let's freaking go. Dude, we're getting a pistol. Today is a good day, man. Last couple of days, you got to admit. The game has been doing us favors, except for the raids. Although that might change today, man. With how much the raiders took from us, usually when they take a lot, it doesn't get put into a, a, a bad base. Quote, unquote, bad base, so to speak. It, if they take a lot of things from your base, it tends to be put in, like, a freaking fortress. So we do have a pretty juicy, delicious raid to look forward to on that front. But for now, is this? Ah, it's just a floater bloater. God dang it. It's all right. He ain't getting no sumo wrestling move on me. God dang diseased wolves, man. These guys are all over the place. Uh, let's go ahead and look around just a little bit more. We got these dudes coming out of absolutely left field, man. And oh my god. We got a lot of enemies around here. I'm just trying to find the toxic ones. Ah, here we go. A toxic abomination number one. That guy is stuck in a rock, isn't he? Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm a capitalize on this and use a little bit of that katana. Speaking of that, why don't we try to use the... Never mind. That katana is actually in a little bit worse condition, surprisingly enough. Uh, this guy, oh, it's just a floater bloater. All right, I'm going to juke that out a little bit. Shouts out to my sprint ability. Hopefully a shiv ability at some point, because I, I really like that shiv idea, man. Especially the idea of having like an, another tier of perk, like a super rare perk or something like that, like a legendary perk. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Game, listen to lag now. Okay, we just sliced that dude in half. My game did listen to us and didn't decide to lag in the moment. Shouts out to you. And I, we only looted like three chests, right? I'm pretty sure there's usually a fourth one in these locations, but I'm, I'm not trying to get super picky up in here. What is this? Is this another abomination? Okay, why don't we go ahead and auto him? Go ahead, hydrate a little bit, eat a little bit of food, bring all those things up. Ooh, that's not good. We don't want to be meleeing. Let's re-equip that gun over there, and he should be falling off. And we completed a task. I believe that was the kill 20 zombies task. That would make a way too much sense not to be the right answer so yeah that's probably definitely exactly what it is and uh here nope i am out of this zone hi diddly ho there big one how do you do i'm doing good please go away from me stop attacking me i see enough of you during raids i do not need to see you outside of them as well what do we got here a dealer meh meh that's that's what i'm gonna leave it at uh <laughs> what, do we, what else do we need here uh, we got to open up some chests. Honestly, mm, uh, I think we opened up four chests. I'm going to try to open up three chests in the yellow zone. We'll head back to the red, open up a couple out of those. Because, like, we don't have to do it specifically in the red zone anymore. Although the red zone does have a better chance of having toxic abominations. But literally, once we run into one more toxic abomination, we're going to be fine. So I ain't too worried about that. Goodbye to you. A little neighbor, although he, he's, he ain't living next to us anymore. He getting moved permanently to the cemetery. That's right. You know why? Because I respect the zombies I kill and I bury them. I swear. They definitely get buried eventually. Uh, uh, yeah, look, look at that. He's, he's going to decompose into the ground. It's an all-natural grave. I'm just thinking, I'm just being eco-friendly here, boys. Boys and girls, what can I say? Always trying to have an eco mind set. That, that's a weird way of wording it. I don't know how to word it, man. I ain't no ecologist. Okay, although that almost sounds like a koalaologist, and I'd love to be a koalaologist because those things are adorable. Except I think they're literally covered in diseases, which might not be as adorable. But once you take, once you factor that out, they're freaking adorable, dude. I don't know. They're total derps, by the way, man. There, there's some random koala facts out there. It is amazing that those things continue to be alive out in the wild because they, those are... 
honestly, if I was a wild animal, I genuinely, I'm like 99% convinced. Why is this guy die? Dude, this guy, he just died from all these freaking uh, rocks over here. I think those rocks jumped him, dude. That's the only explanation. He died in a giant pile of them. Oh, what is this? A little gray wolf popping up. But yeah, I don't know. You guys have seen me at my derpiest. I, I think that's a pretty fair assessment. I think uh, I would be a koala out in the wild. Somehow defying all logic and continuing to survive despite my derpitude. And let's bring these boys. Whoop! Get you the fluta bluta. Goodbye to you. Hello to the phone. What is that? The new iPhone XS? Dang, man. It's a little bit cracked, though. Maybe we could uh, go find... Maybe Kafir will add in an Apple support location at some point. We could get, like, a refund. I literally saw this man spawn in in front of us. You spawned in at the very worst location, my friend. I'm sorry to say. Hey, there's the last chest I was looking for. Yeah, we did not find any toxic abominations here, but that's fine. We should be able to find, honestly, one more in the red zone. We'll be Gucci to go. Let's continue grabbing these things and let's get the hell out of Dodge. But for real, man, getting some skills added to the game for the police station and farm and hopefully the motel which again is going to be coming very soon we got that and oh why is the chopper always got to be so far uh it is going to be coming very soon because both of those have to come out pretty much before the end of october there's usually a week long break between updates so the motel i I'd, I'd, I'd be putting my money on that puppy coming out soon and we're gonna be all over that going over to it and uh, hopefully the, you know in the similar vein while there might not be a fun graphic to look at hopefully having some mo maybe that's another thing you guys could think of too maybe like motel skills although we probably got to see what the motel itself contains first but I, I think that just i don't know man are you kidding me the big one already all right what a big one i didn't want to be here anyways i'm just here so i don't get fined <laughs> god dang it mm. well that's unfortunate we gotta actually no mm? ah now that i think about it no i think six toxic abominations attack us during uh during a raid so we'll head back to this yellow zone here yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do it this way. It, it adds up. It adds up. It adds up. And we already got a level two. So honestly, we're still very much so on pace. There's still four and a half days left and only two levels to go. And we are about to be knocking out this chest quest and possiblemente the toxic abomination quest on top of it, which is always a muy bueno thing. All right. So let's go and try to find ourselves some of these chests. Maybe a rogue toxic abomination. I think they have a chance of like popping up in these zones that just tend to not usually pop up. At least from what I've noticed. I don't know. I, it, I might just be thinking of floater bloaters randomly popping up. I just know that, that there are definitely some enemies that do occasionally pop up that aren't usually here. You know? I, I, I just got like something in my gut telling me. The toxic abomination. A death is one of them. I don't know. Only time will tell. We're about to meet plenty of toxic abominations anyways where we're going. Over to that juice delicious raid. So I ain't got too much to worry. Oh my god, dude. Hordes and hordes of these enemies. Jeez, I'm just trying to get me a couple chests. Luckily, it doesn't, unless they're on top of a chest, I was going to say, luckily, it doesn't look like they're nearby any chests. And did we just knock out the chest quest? The chest quest knocked out. Six abominations to go. And those are going to be coming in the foam of the revenge raid. So let's get to it. We got to go home. We got to drop off all the loot from today's adventures. And we need to prepare comrades for the biggest adventure of all. Revenge raid. Uh, uh, maybe we'll stop by the airdrop too. I mean, it's right here. We got the gas anyways. Let's make some magic happen and then we'll go home. Because you never know, man. Airdrops can have really good things. Guns, weapons, engine parts, C4, lenses, blueprints. Airdrops, they're like, they're like a tiny little jackpot, man. It's like winning the little uh, 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 daily lotto. You know, I, I don't know, man. I was trying to reference like, isn't there that one like lottery that's like for a couple hundred bucks where it's like three numbers and you just got to pick three numbers versus like the super lotteries that have like seven numbers. Dude, I'm just saying from the mathematics that I know from my college level experience, uh, those odds are stacked against you. All right. When there's three balls, they're still very stacked against you. But hey, it was looking like you kind of got a chance. Those, like, super balls and mega millions and whatever it is, man. Whatever, dude, these lotteries, they have an obsession with balls. Let's just start with that, right? <laughs> but whatever it is, uh, the odds are not for you. If you're trying to get rich off a lottery, uh, don't do it because you're going to eventually win the lottery. All right, maybe you're feeling lucky, something like that. Otherwise, the lotto, uh, that is not the way to go if you want to be the next Elon Musk. All right, if you want to do that, figure out how to send a spaceship into 
Well, he already sent it to space. You can't really send him much where, much where else. So I don't know, man. You got I can't do the thinking for you. Think of that billionaire idea. And when you become a billionaire, I, I'll, I'll happily take like a nice car with some of your pocket change at that point. Maybe like a, a Lamborghini, something like that. A Lambo. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I'll take a Honda Civic, man. I'll take whatever you can get. <laughs> All right, though, let's go ahead. I gotta put this stuff away, and I will talk to y'all in a sec. And okie dokie, boys and girls. Kappa peak in our inventory, and we got plenty of hatchets coming our way, in addition to that 3C4 over and present at, uh, whatchamacall, over in our uh, chopper. That's the word I was looking for, and hey, I think we actually had the, uh, I actually don't know what quest that just completed. Oh, that's what the invisible quest was. Bro, today's just such a lucky day. We didn't even know what quest that was and we completed it. I think that invisible quest for any of you guys wondering is to craft up two iron hatchets. So make sure you go ahead and capitalize on that bad boy in your uh, midst of confusion of what that mystery thing might be. And today we're bringing out, because we do have that super dope 10% damage boost, we are bringing out the big guns, not to mention the puppas themselves. We want to go all out on this raid. We got three C4 at our disposal. We're going to be doing a lot of things to ensure that that goes down, including spreading some vitamin B for hopefully some good luck. I know, I know, spreading it into here. Ballsy move. Well, listen, you just got to get those vitamins in. This is all I'm trying to say. So we'll go ahead and bring, I think bringing four with us is fair. The rest of these will just have eternally filling on up. Let's go and feed up the pups so they are ready for today's adventure. And then uh, most important of all, let's go ahead and put a couple of things away too because we do have that electric generator over in our, uh, whatchamacall, over in the chopper. So we just want to kind of move that out from there. And honestly, that might be solid raider bait, you know? Just kind of like put that away over into here in case they do decide to stop by in the meantime. I'm, I'm not probably not going to be building this. I got plenty of generators in my own life, so I, I don't mind tossing it in there. Yeah, we have a stockpile over there, and then we have another stockpile in our, like, in our actual base. It's pretty bad. I'll go ahead and toss you those as well, and even, you know, if the raiders decide to come by, they could even have some food on top of it all. But other than that, here we are, armed and loaded, bare to the teeth. Let's go and make some magic happen over at player whatever bunch of numbers he had after his name. Doesn't matter, because by the time we're done with him, he's going to be known as player dead. Yeah, roasted player 6604. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just goofing. I'm just gapping. It cut me some slack, but we ain't gonna be cutting player 6604. No slack. No, no, no. Not today. Just show me what you got, baby. What do we have in store? Big base up. Ooh, 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 ooh. A very big stone base. I might add. Okay, okay. Now, here's where the important questions start. Right. Okay, maybe not as big as I originally thought. It's a solid-sized stone base. Let's leave it at that. Like, it's it's no pushover. I think that's fair to say. Let's let's see if we can't find, like, a weak point at some point. No, no weak points or anything. Um, well, where do we want to break into, then? So, I mean, there's not much else. We're going to complete loop-to-loop -loop around his base. He died over here. I don't think we can really loot his body. Doesn't look like it has anything. I think we want to... Yeah, we're not going to be able to do the big one glitch where, like, we kite him around the map because it's not like this is a massive, uh, what should we call it? one of those, like, massive bases that you can run all the way around the edges. So, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I think using the doghouse glitch is going to be our best bet for today's raid should that time come. So, I think that will be the doorway we break into. We'll go ahead and use our pistol first before we transition to that heavy hitting shotgun. And we see the type of damage that that bad boy is ready to inflict. Same with the VSS, dude. The VSS is going to be doing, I think, like 68 damage, maybe. Or like 67. It's going to be doing a lot with that bonus 10% latched on top of it. But our shotgun, this thing's about to be doing 84. And we don't even have it in the usual configuration where it does 80 damage guaranteed. So our critical chance and critical damage is maxed out. Let's hope that the loot within is also maxed out bada bing bada boom and god dang it we have not broken into anywhere notable yet although let's think about this strategically here where is he gonna have the best stuff in his base well probably in as central of a location as possible i think this guy knows what's going on i think he knows 
to use the strategy to cake your best stuff with as many layers of stone walls as possible. So why don't we use up some of our C4 here? We better be getting some good stuff on top of this too. I don't just want my stuff back. I want, because he broke into some solid chests, I want some good stuff on top of it. All right, because this might be a raid where we use up all three C4. And here's a question. I don't know which one of these doors to break into. That's where I'm a little bit sketched out, you know? A little bit tweaked out by that. I kind of want to break through this one. But what if that doorway doesn't lead anywhere? But that doorway could not lead any. And that YOLO, let's put it in here. Let's hope that hopefully this takes us somewhere good. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy! Absolutely nothing. Wowzers. Okay, well, at least we could break into there through wood. Hopefully we got some good things there because so far... Oh, shotgun rain, a full 85 damage. How much is a critical going to do? Oh my god! 169! What do you do? Oh my god, that dude just exploded into a bajillion pieces. What do you do if you're a zombie at that point, man? I don't know. I don't think there's much you can do, but there also... It's not much that we can do because we have broken into this base rather poorly. Now, there wasn't a lot of research to do out on this base either, which was a little bit of a bummer in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. God dang it, ain't nothing good there. Although, I think... Uh, okay, these things are... Yeah, I think these are made of stone, but we might be able to, hear me out, actually break through this with our hatchet, and maybe this will lead us to... <gasps> mm, I, where's the stuff, man? Where's the stuff? Oh, bless, bless, bless. At least we can use iron hatches to break through this stuff and check it out. This is actually a blessing of a... God dang it, of a basin. Uh, th there's literally only one other place to break into, man. We got one C4 left. We still have no loot to show unless we actually just got a base that doesn't have anything. But, ah, uh, I know we've made a lot of noise so far and already, but check it out. We have, we broke into this in actually like one of, if not the best ways possible. Because there's a chest right there. And we can use this chest very much so to our advantage because we can walk past it but these derpy little zombies ain't got a clue about what to do let's go and test this out a little bit 69 damage off the vss can we see how much a critical does that's what i'm interested in who oh, shot a good rain god dang it he got that hit off on us i was hoping we might be able to avoid that what up toxic abominations no worries don't be shy feel free to come on through oh 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 he was ready man he was trying to shoot the gap but no 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 not today our 69 damage lives to win another day. Shotgun rain. Oh my god, it's too beautiful, man. A single shotgun and a single VSS, and they got two health left. I The healer needs to bring that buff around more often, man. I do not see that thing enough. It is without a doubt. Every time that thing's around, I take it. It's just that beautiful. Of course, our dog managed to get stuck in here. Come on, pupper. Stop getting stuck in there. God dang it. I know you want to chill over there. I want to chill there, too. I... I... Oh... Is this, uh, is this, uh, no? What, what? Oh, did we just accidentally break through something on the other side? We did. That was a woodworking bench. Ugh. So it looks like he has at least a woodworking bench in there. We've already made a lot of noise. Listen, hey, there needs to be more chests. I know I might be starting to get delusional at this point. There needs to be another chest, dude. You, there's no way. All of our stuff is within that one chest. So we are going to break our way into there, god dang it. Because if not, this base is beyond whack. He's got, yeah. Ugh. This is just a really weird base, dude. There might actually not be a lot of good stuff. But at this point, I'm just trying to get my own stuff back. Ugh. Definitely getting problematic. But we should be able to pretty easily toss some C4 down on here. And please lead us to the promised land. Are you kidding me? This is what you call the promised land? This is what I get. <laughs> oh my god. This base. Hello. Okay, at the very least, we're getting some stuff back. But this base is brutal. <laughs> All of his stuff. I think, I, I don't know if this is just like... If they're all like little two-by-one sections, kind of like this one is. You guys see on the map how it's like a little two-by-one. Are they all like that? Whatever it is. It's whack, and there just is not a lot of chests here, man. Because I know one of one of these uh, squares has to be inhabited by a radio tower. Not a radio tower. Uh, the other thing. Not the radio tower. God dang it. It's the, that's on the tip of my tongue. The radio. 
Yeah, I don't know where the tower is coming from. I know we can build the radio tower, but I was just thinking of the radio. Let's go ahead and start taking these dudes down because we're still bringing this to the limit. We got to take these guys down after all, and that's exactly what I intend upon doing. Hopefully our pupper, check it out, dude. We actually do the perfect amount of damage once our puppy gets involved too because uh, the damage that we can't quite clean up, we don't do 80 with this. We do 69, but then our dog does 13, which actually ends up adding up very very nicely come on pupper nice to take him down hold on doesn't that mm. i always forget dude if our dog kills them yeah god dang it are you serious i always forget if the dog takes them down then we don't get the kill kafir you guys gotta patch that man i'm i'm sorry this dog is an extension of me i've tamed this thing okay like i, I feel like if it kills something it should count for us but I imagine there's more chests over there we might be able to break into, but we are definitely done breaking for the time being. Let's go ahead and put what we can away, and then let's see what we could break away and take away from here. Because we, we got two more toxic abominations we could kill, but after that, we are poop out of luck on that front. And yeah, dude, I can't believe we got such a trash base for our revenge raid. And uh, at least you guys know now. All right, we may have taken a fat L today at least so far but at least you guys know if you come across this base there's about like not really a lot of places worth breaking into let's leave it at that but if you break into it the right way you could kind of use that thing to your advantage but i don't really think it matters because there's not really a lot of good things here there anywhere yeah absolutely nowhere uh whatever we'll just start grabbing what we can we gotta walk out of here with something and as soon as this one breaks the big one will be summoned and yeah it doesn't surprise me he does not have anything good so the big one's probably gonna be teleporting to us here in just a gif when he does that oh we can go ahead and start sniping at this guy Wee! no sorry on that one there you go you guys can see that he teleported away from us and I'm waiting for these abominations to run up on us. There we go. Shotgun rain to you, abomination. Shotgun rain. What a big one. How do you do? How do you do? I wish I could shoot them through this thing, man. It's all good. Pupper, chill. Chill, chill, chill. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. No need to worry. Don't attack the big one. Let him be. I'm about to get him stuck in a doghouse. All right, maybe not a doghouse, but I got him stuck in there. Go ahead. Finish him off. At least shotgun rain to you. Finish him off, pup. It doesn't matter because they don't count towards us anyway. And then what we want is for him to teleport to us. Whoop, 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 whoop. And then actually, no, 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 no. Because we're... Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm being a little bit indecisive here. We broke through both of these, right? Yeah, both of them. Hot trash. This was really not a good raid, man. And this is what we used our 3C4 on. Feels bad. Definitely feels bad. So we're just going to try to use this a little bit. Maybe we'll find something else worth. Okay. We'll have an aluminum wire. I, I can get behind that at this point, man. I'll take anything I could get. Oh, no. That's not. Just, okay. So I want to break that chest next. Which means I want to get him stuck in here. So he's got to teleport to us. I don't think he's doing 44 damage yet, but I'm going to heal just to play it safe. I'm not trying to die. Although dying in a doghouse is probably one of the better places to die. You could just, you could come back to your body pretty chill. And let's go ahead and get to what we got in here. So you could just do the doghouse glitch and have the big one stuck outside the doghouse. Let's see what we got within. Okie dokie. We got some semi-decent things. Oh my God. And we're dead. That guy hit us with the one, two, three ridiculously quickly well the good news is we can get our stuff back pretty easily uh it's it's, it's we're, gonna, we're gonna be walking out of this just fine we just gotta make sure not to uh die first so let me grab some stuff really quickly and look at me looking as beautiful as ever except uh with a little bit of a tactical pantalon and son instead of the usual i know that technically since we did die we could have just put that stuff away that we had but guys there's there's not like we don't even need to worry about our inventory being full from this raid so let's just go back and uh, get what's ours and hopefully the big one doesn't spawn on top of us Ooh, should have brought medical supplies luckily we got some bandages left over from some quest completion that we did so we'll just sauce those on over there and let's get this big one stuck recover our stuff and get the hell out of dodge because if we die again it's gonna be a little bit more problematic this time all right, so I don't... Oh, there's the big one. All right, he's already running towards us. I got to try and beat him towards the doghouse. Okay, I'm not beating him that way. Because I... Uh, eh, hold on, can I get him to do the window glitch where like he tries to get on the other side of the wall? No. He does not appear to be falling for it. Okay. Can we... Nope, not tricking him that way. Hold on, hold on. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Just didn't want to take any damage. Okay. 
I'm ready now. He's gonna teleport to us. I'm gonna heal. I'm, I'm I don't care, dude. I'm I'm down to spam bandages. Those are just bandages. We got plenty of med kits back at home. He's already doing 44 damage, which is exactly how much one bandage heals. Let's get back to this body. Hopefully pick up the body right off the bat. Take all that we can. And all right. Now he's gonna come back for us. Let's just wait. He's gonna teleport here. I wanna do whoop. Nope, did not work. I was trying to do the corner glitch. We're like we use the wall corner to our advantage. No advantage today. All right, we got him stuck in here though. He's coming after us. I just want to equip a couple things here because there were a couple things we left behind. Go back, hit take all, and get the hell out of dodge once and for all because things are getting feisty and he's starting to do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of damage and I'm not trying to get one hit by this schmuck, but okay, we got our stuff back. Uh, nothing too valuable being left behind. I'm not getting greedy. I'm not trying to min-max the bejesus out of this. I'm just trying to get the hell out of dodge. Thank you, big one, for chasing me out of such a trash raid. I didn't want to spend more time there anyway unless we got into those other rooms. <laughs> I can't believe that. That is... It's, I don't know. That's the way, that's the way luck goes. You know, so be it. Hopefully we get rewarded with a super dope base at some point to kind of counteract that, but let's make our way and end things off over at a little thing known as the airdrop to top today off with. But with that said, with that done, can't wait to what y'all got to say in that comment section down below regarding these potential skills coming to the police station and the farm. Let's make our voices heard and hopefully Kafir sees with the huge support and the love for the idea a little bit more of an incentive to incorporate such a dope thing. Not to mention any ideas you guys might have for those skills and or maybe interesting mechanics to incorporate with like a little honestly, I think, oh my god so much death and destruction. I think a good way of maybe describing that or maybe just having like it could just be in general a, lo a location update that updates them with skills and also since things would be added onto the map such as the shivs and the police station and yeah we got some decent things here yeah i'll just i'll leave those actually i'll leave those behind uh yeah okay i'm just being indecisive now T take some water but yeah i don't know it incorporates some new stuff to do at each location not to mention the skills it could just be kind of like one giant overarching location update at some point but whatever form it comes hopefully it does let's make our voices heard but with that said with that done that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of last day i want to survival can we do what y'all gotta say in that comment section it's down below best of luck to you guys and gals get the chopper gas take it join it at a chopper squadron best of luck breed your pup and get the true fred perk level up your own perks and skills not to mention find the very best blueprints that you can for the very best ah, wolf and for the very best weapons that you got and building up the best attachments that you physically can best of luck protecting your base going out of the dopest of raids way doper than the one that we encountered today that's for sure defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you and getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fan fantastic time all throughout but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching huh so it's an awesome one i'll talk to the next one see ya